Hello everybody and welcome to Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Resident I just figured I might as well just do um, some of the scenarios and things that, on this because, hey, it's pretty easy and laid back so why not. And for those curious, yes I will be doing all of the other original Resident Evil games and the like. I just thought for the moment, why not do this? So we're going to start off with Resident Evil Zero, and we're going to play as I'm going to play as Rebecca. Why not? Let's be the lady. And yeah, it's all going to be brand new. So uh, got no guns or anything like that equipped, or new guns equipped anyway, and no upgrades or anything like that. Yes, let's start the game. It was a stormy night when the leeches overwhelmed the Ecliptic Express. The Special Forces unit sent to investigate the area reported an emergency, but the announcement was suddenly cut off and followed only by silence. And to the STARS unit member, Rebecca Chambers. Umbrella has been at the center of my plan for a long time, but the train incident would prove to be the beginning of the end. Stars here. Is anybody there? Stars here. Is anybody there? escaped prisoner Billy Cohen can we put a hold on the whole arresting me thing we have bigger things to worry about right now not a bad revolver he's got there oh here we go good old tutorials point the Wemo at the screen there we go exclusive tip for every player no, oh, stop getting in the way. Yes or no, it's beta fire. If you take damage, your health will go down. Wow, who knew? Yeah, green, yellow, red, we know. It's typical Resident Evil. Just as a light gun shooter, and my aim is terrible. There we go, thank you. Compulsive reloading. Up and down to change guns. Only got the handgun and submachine gun at the moment. Shoot all the lights. Because you get extra files and um, guns and stuff like that as well. And they just, they're all hidden. Fine. We'll worry about that later. For now, we Got him. Safety. That'll be easier said than done. Yep, A to pick up. Stop hiding in the door frame. There we go. Oh, Mr. Light. They're on the stairs too. No, I was just about to light up the shot. Right, so when the reticle when it glows, that means it's a weak spot and you do like a critical hit to them. So Although sometimes it shows it like um glows and you're like, oh okay, we'll do a critical hit, but it doesn't do it because you're you're not at the right uh, height. So, like, if, for example, you aim at someone's head, you might shoot them in the chin. You get grenades as well in this game. And grenades do this. They explode. See, there's a hidden file. And you also get a knife in typical Resident Evil fashion. And you just flail around with the Wiimote while holding down A just to slash at the leeches. And depending on what angle you aim it, it changes direction, look, which is pretty cool. Oh, 
just me aiming at the lights and everything else which can hopefully be shot. Hey, another file. See? Pays to shoot at lights randomly. And I'm not going to bother with the leech guy. Just shooting him. No, just blow him up. We can't take them all down. Head to the ladder. Reloading. Yes, we know. You could have just told up, like, A picks things up. <laughs> just what's the point of the leeches? All they're doing is just jumping in front of you. But just in case you might forget that they're dangerous. What's going on here? Beats me. Never seen anything like this. More slashing. Oh, I missed it. Down. I thought it was just like press A to pick up the zombie. God, it's very blurry now, isn't it? What with all the rain. Watch your step, princess. Don't call me princess. I'm Rebecca. Nothing else to shoot. Anything down there? Nope. Just more leeches. There we go. We're surrounded. We're surrounded. But not for long. Oh, there was something I could shoot. Let's get back inside. Right. It's a zombie. Oh, apparently I can't shoot him. Checkpoint! Nearly 400 enemies killed. Obviously, most of which were leeches. Only four critical hits. God, I'm terrible. I like the 81. When your health gauge drops to zero, the game is over. Who knew? Continue to start over from the beginning. Okay, not a problem. Some doors are breakable and can reveal another path. This can help you avoid danger. There you got ourselves a shotgun. Always useful. Oh, and you get to choose when you want to move, but if you wait, the zombie came alive to the sound of music. But you just headshot him, so it doesn't matter. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. And how exactly did you get here? I was being transported. Oh, I bet there was something there that so I could grab as well. Can we get it now? No. Nope. Huh? Well, not on my watch. I just saved your ass back there. You still want to arrest me? Hello. Oh, that is terrible shooting from me. Oh, there's so many lights, but you want to shoot at? Oh, see, that's why. Reload, shoot his face off, turn round, I want to pick up that item. Hey, that'll do. Kind of makes up for it. But, oh! Oh, okay, I'll just, <laughs> just sliced off the chandelier. Oh, I still can grab it. Bye bye leeches. So we got some machine gun shotgun. Another umbrella file and herb. See herbs are normally used like straight away. It's a shame you can't store them, but
Right in the top of the head. There you go. There's the weak point. Oh, come on. I shot you. There we go. Shot Baldy instead, though. Ugh. Quick time events. Is this guy going to come up? Yeah, even though I kept shooting him. Any more? Oh, more leeches. Go on in. Oh, wasted. No! There we go. Thank you. Up the ladder we go. So slowly. Not like we're in a rush or anything. Just a bit of damage there at the top of this cabin. Carriage. Carriage will do. And I picked up wherever that was. I think it was a herb. Got ourselves a scorpion. Kill it. So it's a good idea to try and shoot the tail instead of listening to Billy and saying aim for the head. Because, look, there you go. His tail just can't do anything now. So. Just pin him at the back. Reload. Come on, nearly got it. Oh, it didn't even give me a chance to dodge. So, keep going back. Go on, go back. There we go. Good boy. Or girl. I'm sorry? That was incredible lunging. From all the way at the back, he managed to get me. There we go, you cheating scorpion. Sad tail. He didn't want to die. That is an impressive clear time, just under 9 minutes. Oh, S rank, that's not too bad. Obtain shotgun. A mixing set, which doesn't really matter. Memo on the founding of Umbrella. Court order for transportation. Ecliptic Express notes. Raccoon Forest notes. Stinger notes. Leech Notes and Train Derailment 2 is now available. Is that all? Ah, well. So that wasn't too bad, considering it's my first go in absolutely ages. So I wonder, how, can I customise straight away? Oh, okay. Ammo increase. That's probably a good idea for the shotgun. Yeah, I'll do that. Not enough points, stranger. Capacity increase as well. Uh, no, I'll leave it as it is then. This got more ammo for the shotgun, so that's pretty useful. Yes, save my data. So there we go. That was Train Derailment Part 1. 
And I'll see you all next time for part two for more zombie killing, leech slashing, and window smashing. <laughs>